ago this month in May, last year, after three years of putting that bridge in, I said, I'm out of here. I got to do this show. God did it again. I went to the federal government. I'm a veteran, and they helped me. I went to 21 days treatment in the VA hospital. In the process of that, God seen my heart and gave me a job at the VA hospital. And I looked at it, I said, man, God is really, he's in the blessing business. He really do love me. Anyway, I had to have eye surgery, and I almost lost this job because I started back with drinking again. And I stayed drunk for about a month and a half. And my boss told me right in front of him at the VA, at the VA at the company, he said, look, you got 30 days or you got 60 days to get yourself together before you out of here. So I decided to go back to treatment. That's when I first met, well, I met Grayson Doug. When they brought him to see me, I was in a mission on my way to treatment. Then. And it's amazing how the enemy, the devil, we sit there and put things in your head as to where, what they're going to, what, you know, I was worried about what other people are going to think or what they're going to say about me. And that was, he was trying to put me in shame. But I resisted it, and I went off to 21 day treatment again. But through the grace of God, when I got out of treatment, and the other great gave me a place to stay over here. And I went to work. As you all know, I still work. And I love my job. When me and Kim put in for this apartment last week, we had to pay a $35 application fee. I never thought in my wildest dreams that they were going to go back into my past. But they did. They went all the way back to 1977, 78, when I ever committed my first felony. These people told me and Kim that by no circumstances are they going to rent to anybody with a felony on their background. I was about to not give up, but I was feeling a little lack of faith. But I kept praying anyway. I said, Lord, please cut these people's hearts. And the woman told me on the phone the day before yesterday, Monday, she called me, she called Kim, and I called her while I was at work. That woman read my background off of me all the way from 1970. And I, then I hung up, I said, oh, talk to her. And then God put it in my heart to call her right back. And I did. And I said, Lord, give me the words to say. And then he gave me the scripture where Jesus told, like, a, like he told the disciples. He said, don't worry about what you shall say. What you shall say will be given to you within an hour. And so I called her back. And the Holy Spirit started talking to me to this lady. Kind of found out this lady is also a follower and a believer in Jesus Christ and accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and personal Savior. And so the lady said, okay, I'm going to give you a chance. She said, I, and she said she prayed on it. God said, let, let him in. And uh, today on my way, when I got off work on the way over there to meet Kim and the lady, I got, it was fear that came across me. But it wasn't a fear from God. It was a fear of the enemy. In other words, he was trying to have me to turn back. Forget it. I don't want to tell you. But I resist it. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you. Regardless of what society may say, it's what God says is all that matters. Right. All that matters. That woman read my background. It wasn't, it wasn't nice. But God still forgave me for my sins. That's exactly what he did. He meant that. I don't care what nobody says. In Revelation, God said it like this. He said, I will open up a door that nobody will shut. And I will shut a door that nobody will open. And he did that for me. And Kim, he does it for everybody. Because I'm quite sure. We all have perfect things. We've been through a lot of stuff. And it wasn't for disaster relief. I know for a fact, me and myself, I'd have died. I would have made this path up. Well. <coughs> Kim would have made it. She had rods in her back. She has a broken back. She wouldn't have made it. She was sick in the winter. 
And I praise God for Doug's grace and for all you all. And what I'm trying to say is I'm asking for forgiveness as well for uh, some of the people that was in apartments and one of the apartments with me for complaining. So God had to show me something too. And I had to share it with Kim. To where the enemy will show you all the negative, but you have to fight against it and let God show you the positive. And I had to share with Kim. I said, well, you know what? Regardless of how this place looks, I said, Kim, we're not up under a bridge anymore. We're not eating out of the dumpster anymore. You know? We're not waking up in the middle of the night with rats crawling across us anymore. You know? We're not sleeping out here in the rain and in the sleep and in the heat. We're not standing up on the corner all day trying to hustle up money to get dope and get alcohol and smelling and stinking today. I said, I pray God for where we are today. Mm -hmm. He opened up a door and today was my first day looking at that apartment. Kim had already seen it. <coughs> God, we started off. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> God is awesome. Uh, Y'all are welcome to come to see it in tap you ready. This tears of joy. When I look at that place <laughs> and where I come from and where he has brought me and where he's taken me, man, it was a hard struggle. It was a hard road, but I didn't give up. And I'm asking everybody, don't give up. God knows what you want before you even ask it. But you just got to ask it and have faith. And like that Bible says, you got to have faith to serve God. Without faith, it's impossible. You got to believe, and you got to claim it. Me and Kim, when that woman told us all that stuff, we said we got that apartment. And then Kim asked me Tuesday yesterday, no Monday before the woman called. She said, "What do you think?" I said, "Well, I get it. I just give up on it." I said, "We may not get it," and she got upset. She said, don't you ever say that. Don't you say that no more. We got the place. And I praise God for him because that showed me that her faith, her faith had got stronger. She didn't have no doubt. And that was the spirit letting me know it's done. I love all y'all, man. And whatever you do, just keep walking forward. You know, it's good. God is good. God is good. He delivered me. He delivered me. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.